Hello. For this problem, we've got kind of an L-shaped bracket, um, and this is attached to the wall or to the base uh, via two hinges. Uh, so this, the axis of these hinges is at a 45 degree angle. It's in the XY plane, the Z pointing out towards you, um, and it's 45 degrees kind of back like that from the Y axis. So we've got this L-shaped bracket, uh, and we know it's got a length of five feet this way, and it's got a force acting on it. That force is already in component form. Uh, it's five pounds in the x-axis, negative 10 in the y-axis, and 10, 10 pounds uh, in the z-axis. So this is pointing out towards you a little bit. Um, so we're asked to determine the moment that the force F exerts about the axis of the hinges for this piece. Um, so for this calculation, uh, we're going to use the, the vector calculations. And we know that the moment about an axis, so m is going to be equal to the vector u with the dot product uh, of r cross f. And let's go ahead and explain what each of these mean. So u is going to indicate the direction of the axis that we're taking this moment about. So u goes along that axis, and it's going to be a unit vector, so it's one unit long. Um, so in this case, u, we know it's in the xy plane, since this whole thing is sitting in the xy plane right now, uh, and it's going to be going uh, negative cosine 45 uh, in the, sorry, negative sine 45 in the x direction, negative sine 45. In the y direction, it's going up. It's going up by cosine 45. And in the z direction, it's going nowhere. So it has no component in the z direction there. So that is showing what axis we're looking at. R is a vector going from any point on this axis out to the point of application of the force. So in this case, I'm going to show my r vector, like so. So it's going from this axis, and it's going out at a 45 degree angle to the point where the uh, force is applied, and it goes a total distance of 5 feet. So r is going a total distance in the x direction of 5 times the sine of 45, since we know that this is also a 45 degree angle. It's going in the y direction, it's going 5 cosine 45. And in the z direction, again, since there's no in or out of the board uh, for this r vector, it's going 0. All right, and finally, our force vector is conveniently already given to us in component form, uh, and that is 5, negative 10, positive 10. And so the units, the u vector is a distance, so this is going to be feet. Uh, the r vector is also a distance, that's going to be feet. And the force is in pounds. So the first thing I need to do is r cross f. So r, the vector r crossed with f, and again you need to do it in the, in the right order here, uh, is going to be equal to thirty-five point four negative thirty-five point four. negative 53.1. And so this is the moment vector that this force exerts around this point right here. I'm going to call that point A. And so we want to find, that's not necessarily going to line up with our axis of rotation, so we want to find the component of that moment vector that's actually going in the direction of U. 
And so if we do u, it's a dot, or sorry, it's u dot product of r cross f, which is this vector we found here, we're going to get another, uh, well, in this case, we're going to get a scalar value. And so the scalar value is going to be equal to negative 50.06, and the units, of this, the units of this up here is foot pounds. The unit here is going to be foot pounds as well. So M about axis U is going to be this negative 50.06 and again, that is the moment that this force right here exerts about the axis of rotation, the axis indicated by the, the hinges on our L-shaped bracket. So with that, we've got our moment about the axis. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.